the Lord be with you. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now at that time, Jesus said to his disciples, when you hear of wars and insurrections, do not become frightened. These things are bound to happen first, but the end will not follow immediately. Then he said, a nation will rise against nation, a kingdom against kingdom, there will be great earthquakes, plagues, in various places, and famines, and in the sky fearful omens and great signs. But before all this, they will manhandle you and persecute you, handing you over to synagogues and prisons, and bringing you to trial before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your testifying to your faith. Resolve then not to worry beforehand about your defense, for I will give you words and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to take exception to or contradict. You will be handed over even by your parents, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends. And some of you will be put to death and you will be hated by all because of my name. But not a hair of your head will perish. By your perseverance you will save your soul. The Gospel of the Lord. Tonight, we celebrate the feast of Pope St. Cornelius and St. Cyprian. Pope Cornelius, who was exiled after a short reign, was slain by Dacius in the year 253, strove always for church unity and for kindness towards Christians who fell away during the persecution. St. Cyprian, an African lawyer and a pagan until the middle of his life, had not been long a Christian when he was ordained for the priesthood and then made Bishop of Carthage. He became a great reader and inspired writer. At his martyrdom five years after that of Pope Cornelius, he had the consolation of being surrounded by crowds of his faithful children in Christ. Also in the martyrology today, we have Saints Euphemia, Lucy, Germinian. These martyrs bore witness to Christ under Diocletian in the fourth century. Euphemia died at Chalcedon and Lucy and Germinian in Rome. So we have these great champions of our faith uh, tonight to give, we ask you prayers. It's interesting, the uh, opening prayer of the Mass uh, asked that the uh, martyrs Cornelius and Cyprian protect us. And then it asks that their prayers go before God for us. So it's interesting, the, the prayer of the church is for protection in our own struggles against the enemies of the church, both within and without the church. Um, it remarked that Pope St. Cyprian fighting for the unity of the church. The evil one, um, will always attack the church. And the evil one will attack the church in, in the very characteristics of the Catholic Church. So the characteristics of the Catholic Church are four. The church is one in belief, government, and doctrine. The church is holy because Christ is holy and provides holiness to us through the seven sacraments. The church is Catholic, that it is meant to embrace every nation, every language, every people. And she is apostolic because it is not some made up faith, but it is based on the eyewitnesses, the 12 apostles, the eyewitnesses of Jesus Christ. But I would, I would say that the, the, the attack of choice on the church I would say it is doctrinal. That's why the church has always been plagued by heresies. And in this way, the evil one sows disunity in the flock of Christ. In the epistle to St. Timothy, the first, uh, the first letter of St. Timothy, 
chapter 3, it speaks about the church as the pillar and column of truth. And that enrages our contemporaries, and even people who are falling away within the church, uh, often uh, shy away from and ignore the fact that the church is teaches the truth. And uh, our contemporaries don't believe there is any truth in religion. And you just have to basically be where whatever people are doing, you have to accommodate yourself to that. Whereas the Catholic Church says, no, we have received this from Christ and we stand by it and preach it, whether people accept it, don't accept it, we must be faithful. Uh, Father Romano Guadini uh, wrote his book in the 50s, uh, Faith in One Man, and he said the thing that enrages uh, people and they, they, can't, they can't accept it is that the church claims to be certain about uh, the doctrines of the faith and, and the way we should live and our moral teachings. So the martyrs are champions of the truth, gave their blood. And they teach us and, and, and urge us to be faithful to Catholic doctrine. And one of the greatest works of charity towards our neighbor can be to give and stand for sound doctrine. Stand to know our faith, live our faith, speak our faith, stand for our faith. So as we continue our Mass, let us ask these great saints to um, obtain that for us in our daily lives so we can spread the Catholic faith in these times of confusion. We're very privileged to have a relic of Pope St. Canidus uh, on the altar.